Good morning, everybody, and welcome on into today's stream, Sunday morning, Puppet Combo Wombo. We are getting into three, well, new to me games um, today for Puppet Combo. We're checking out what is uh, Puppet Combo Scary Tales Volume 1. I had to find my list, which is the first one we're going to play. I think it's like a collection of three different games or four different games so i'm really interested to see what this is going to be like um we also have the glass staircase and night ripper so three games technically i guess it could be considered six games since one is a collection of games but a uh, lot of puppet combo we're going to be going through it we'll see what's good what's um Maybe skippable <laughs> and uh, and kind of go from there. Uh, we, we did a puppet combo night on Friday, which was really interesting where we checked out uh, Booty Creek Cheek Freak, which was pretty good. It's just, you know, short, but it was good. Nun Massacre, which feels like there's something there, but man, they need to rework that one just a little bit because uh, a little irritating with, with some of it, but it's not too bad. I feel like if we invested some time into it, we could probably get to the end of that one. Um, Babysitter Bloodbath, which is essentially Halloween the game. And I mean Halloween the movie, the game, uh, which was pretty great. And then uh, Power Drill Massacre, which feels like it has so much potential. Oh, but it's just, it's got one huge flaw, one huge major flaw, which is, uh, frankly, there's no way to tell where the enemy is before they're rushing you and attacking you, which ultimately makes the game kind of unplayable, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I, I wish I... Uh, maybe I need to watch other people play it and see what they're doing to try to deal with that. But it was just insanely frustrating. So, two out of four ain't bad for, for uh, some good indie games. And we have six on the table tonight, so if even two of these are really good, I think we will have a night well spent. But how is everybody doing? Eccentric Meal, welcome on in. Vera, welcome on in. Fluffy to Rabbit, how you doing? El Nombre, how's it going? Hope everybody is doing really, really well. And ready to get into the puppet combo. All the puppet combo. Alien Wall, welcome on in. How's your day going? Oh man, Lycan, welcome on in. How you doing today? All right, so I wanted to touch back and I, I might be a little a uh, little vague. Uh, yesterday we had a sponsored stream for Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. I wanted to give my day after impressions, of course, outside of the sponsored stream. Although I'm still going to be very respectful to the company, because I think even if, if you find a game and you absolutely didn't like it, which isn't isn't the case here, but um, you don't really want to, like, bash your, your sponsor after the fact, right? Like, you also don't want to lie to your audience, but it's kind of like bad taste in business. But uh, to give an honest opinion about it, I think... If you really liked Vampire the Masquerade, the original game, and if you're really excited for the new one coming out, I feel like the game has just crap tons of lore, backstory, lots of information to go over there. I feel if, if you're really into the universe and you're really excited for Bloodlines 2, it's a good lore game. And I have to emphasize that a lot. It's very, very lore and I say that because the game is extremely narrative driven extremely um, it's very much in the vein of maybe like and I said this yesterday Detroit become human but even more so it's just a lot of dialogue a lot of dialogue um, the stuff you do just ultimately leads to more cutscenes and dialogue and, and there's choices that you make um, that kind of make it like a multiple choice, different ending kind of a game. Now, we played it for about four hours yesterday, so I know we didn't get close to the end. And I'm not really sure where all of our choices end up. It felt like there was one 
big choice that was made in terms of anything that was, you know, story impacting, but we didn't even get to see necessarily any repercussions from it. So if I could give the good and the bad from the little bit that I saw during our stream yesterday, the good, um, lots of lore, tons of lore everywhere. The graphics looked very good uh, for the set design and everything. And the voice acting, for the most part, felt pretty well done. Except for the kid. There's a kid in that game that uh, felt maybe they could have chose a different voice actor. Because it didn't necessarily sound like a kid. It sounded like an adult trying to sound like a kid, if that makes sense. Um, which I'm sure that's probably what it was. But it uh, it could have chose a different voice actor for that. But voice acting overall was, was generally good. And... Uh, you know, lot, lots of lots of information there, which was pretty great. Plus, the Twitch extension they had does add a, a nice little bit of interactivity. So those are all big pluses for me. Uh, negatives. I feel the game could have had more um, interactions with the game, with what you're doing. I don't know if this changes later on, because we very well could have been in what was considered a tutorial state of the game because there's just so much information and so many stats and things to look at um, that a lot of it felt uh, very scripted to me um, at one point we were raising our hunger which they say that if your hunger gets too high you'll just attack any human but we never attacked a human even though we were surrounded by them and our hunger was maxed out so, if it felt at times a, a little too scripted without having any sort of expected repercussions based on the mechanics they've given you in the game. So, there was that. Um, I also, and again, this is an early in the game statement, so this could very well be completely night and day opposite towards the end. I don't know if I felt like the decisions were being as impactful as I would like them to be. Um, and that's kind of a problem though with all multiple choice story driven games. R rarely is there a story narrative driven multiple choice, multiple conclusion game that has choices that drastically affect it with every single choice. Um, some do more, some do less. At the moment, it felt like this was on the, the lower end of that, but maybe by the end of the game, it's it's huge. But um, in either case, it was a cool game. Um, I think it's uh, definitely worth checking out if you like Vampire the Masquerade, because it's got to tide us over until Bloodlines comes out. So, you know, definitely definitely check it out if you're interested in it. I, I thought it was... I thought it was... Uh, okay. Not bad. Not great. But definitely lots of lore, and that's, I think, its big selling point for me would be tons and tons of lore. Like, if they made a game... Like, what franchise am I just obsessed with? Probably, like, Silent Hill. If they made a Silent Hill that was like that, tons of lore, but very narrative-driven, and granted, not now, because I think everybody would be pissed if that happened now. But, like, back in its heyday, I would have eaten it up. I would have been all over it. So, 5 out of 10? Um, so, giving it a number rating. It's hard to say, because, like, I don't like to rate games I haven't played through completely. So, rating that game now is giving it, you know, based on what was essentially three to four hours of gameplay, about three and a half, I guess I would say, hours of gameplay, which is not the full game, which is probably not even a quarter of the game. So I think it would be completely unfair for me to give it a solid rating. I would say if I had had to give something, it felt like just based on the first couple hours, it kind of floated around a six for me. But by the end of the game, it could be a seven, or if, you know, if, if something bad happened, it could be a five. But, um, you know, definitely 
Definitely a game for the fans, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Sam, welcome on. Let me get some haze out. I see some more people popping in here as we're, we're chatting. Pseudo, welcome on in. B255, welcome on in. Count, welcome. Faj, how you doing? Sam, how's it going? Hope everybody is having a great day. And ready for some puppet combo. So that was my two cents on on uh, on the vampire thing. Um, I'm glad we got to do it though. That was super fun, and uh, it, it was definitely an experience for all that. So we'll just we'll just leave it there. But let's go ahead and get into this. So we're going to be starting here today with our puppet combo. We got three-ish games to kind of get through, and I'm not rushing through any of them. So if we don't get to all of them, we don't we you know save it for another day. But the first one is Scary Tales, which is frankly four games. And I imagine they're very short, which is fine. Like I, They don't need to be long. If they are long, that's just icing on the cake if they're good. But we got Scary Tales. Let me see if I can find it here before I... Uh, here we go. Before I start it up. Let's switch on over. There we go. So puppet combo scary tales. It looks like this because uh I uh bloated it uh bloated it loaded it, jeez, words into my Steam as a add a game thing. Um Scary Tales is on itch.io or itch.io, whatever, however you pronounce that, or on their Patreon if you are on their Patreon. So you can't get it on Steam, but you can get it on itch.io or their Patreon if you support Puppet Combo. So let's pop on in. Look at that. It said 3,500 frames per second. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Okay, I already did that. Okay, cool. We got to try to make this full screen. Please adjust tracking for the best picture quality. I mean, I could probably just alt enter. There we go. All the puppets. Combination of puppets. Okay. Scary. Maybe I should switch, uh, cause this looks like a 4x3 game. Do it like this. Why does that keep changing my... Hold on a second. This is weird. There we go. Still a little off, isn't it? Yeah, what's which which portion is that? Is that that? Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough right there. Pretty loud. Turn that down a bit. Okay. So let's see what story mode is. Start a new game. Alright, so puppet combo. Drac duck, welcome. I don't know if I said hi, so I'm saying it again. Puppet Combo Presents. Scary Tales. Who's at the door? What a night. Damn it. I guess I should get the door. Alright, first let's see if there's any options. There are. 
Ooh, VHS 2, look at that. I like the PlayStation when they do that. Grindhouse, ooh. Oh, man. That is an interesting aesthetic. That really adds some, like, terror look to it, frankly, doesn't it? Is it just me? That looks pretty badass. Let's check them all out. Off. Of course, that's going to be clean, but, like, then you lose, like, the art style. VHS 1. VHS 2. I don't know if I like 2 at all. PlayStation. It's like slight change. Black and white now. Grindhouse. The Grindhouse is good, but like I think maybe it's a little too distorting. Maybe we should leave it on VHS 1, huh? Or 2. I don't know. I like the aesthetic. You think VHS 1? Looks aw <laughs> looks awful. VHS, I'll change it. Here, let's change it back. Here, VHS 1. Alright, here we go. Yeah, he picks up that phone so slow. Okay, I guess we don't have anybody to call, so that's fine. Just slowly sit the phone down. Alright, Frost, how you doing? Can we open his closet now? Okay. Hey, a toilet! Hey, bug spray. Flashlight. Press X to turn on flashlight. That's a good flashlight. A knife. Look at that slow cooker. Damn, we're gonna have food. Okay. Hey, it's the controls. Spacebar is jump. Z is inventory. X is flashlight. F is drop. Wheel is change item. Okay. Get all this food. <gasps> it's a cat! Ah. <coughs> Hi, Dodgeball. I love you. Oh. Kitty. And it purred. Hey, Chris. Welcome on in. Good morning. Looks like a nice day. Need a tape. I should have paid my cable bill. You idiot. I mean, I don't know if it's wishing a package. I don't remember ordering anything. I better put this down on the coffee table. Okay. I don't just want to leave the front door to our place open. Close it. I don't think we can close the door. Well, that's fine. Whatever. All right. So what's in here? Well, we have something. We have this knife. Ooh, VHS tape. Look at that. Look at that iconic VHS tape. Can't carry more items. I could probably put the knife down, right? I wish I could... Ooh, whoa. Whoa. I don't think I can relock the door. I think it's open forever. That's okay. Whatever. 
Let's see, we got some tapes. It says night shift. It says tape. It's bug spray. Oh, let's see what this is, I guess. The Riverside Incident. Okay. So it's literally just a launcher for the other games. It's cool though, like it's it's getting kind of like a VHS vibe, right? Okay. All right, let's see what do we got here. Okay. <laughs> In July ni 1991, a group of hikers happened upon a garbage bag containing a videotape and some articles of clothing in Spring Forest State Park. After viewing the footage, they turned it into the local police, believing it to be a prank. Limited portions of the tape have been released to the... to the... uh... here. Other options? Okay, whatever. I don't know what we're doing here. Okay. It's all quiet. Place looks kind of creepy. All run down as hell. Man, my overlay, what is up with this today? Here, hold on. It's just such a weird. I, that's what it is. It's such a weird. aspect ratio it's like way different than what we usually have for this in fact let me shrink myself a little bit here we go okay there. better it's better okay so let's see where are we oh look we got some occult symbols up here red light desk everything looks all worn down as hell in here I think that's where we came from yeah it is can we go in here some chairs Look at the tracking on this VHS tape. This filter is pretty... Boo. Boo, indeed. Faj. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, no idea what we're doing. Okay, we can zoom in and zoom out. I just found a mechanic. But that's like our only mechanic here. Stove. Can we go in here? Oh, look at that toilet. It looks grody. A big boiler or something? Okay. This building's creepy. Like, this is, like, huge Blair Witch vibes. The whole story, the found footage and all that. Can I not go through here? I 
I, I have no idea where we're supposed to go, but... Just walking around for now, I guess. That's where we just were. Major, welcome on in. Could you imagine, like, being in, like, a building like this, just kind of, like, snooping around, and then, like, you run across somebody? Like, that'd be the creepiest thing, just other people. Okay, there's stairs here. Where do these stairs go? They go up. Uh, we got some occ more occult stuff here. We got 666. Stars. Stars. Man, who knows? This doesn't seem to go anywhere. What about the other side? I wish this dude moved a little quicker. So quiet. Okay, here we go. Here's a room. Here we go. Hold on a quick second. Okay. Let's see, where are we going here? Where are we going? I don't know, left or right? Right goes up. I don't know if left went up. I feel like this is just building up to, like, a massive jump scare. Like, we're gonna, like, turn the corner and something's just gonna be like, Rah! Like, oh, shit. I don't think we would be able to do anything about it either. Whoa, what the hell? What just happened? I think we clipped. I don't, I don't know how I ended up in here. Can we go out this door? No. Trying to navigate around here. There's a door there. There's a door there. I don't know which one I should try to go into. A lot of medical equipment up here, huh? I think maybe I should have gone the other way. This looks like a dead end room. Unless that opens. It does open, okay. You hear that? been silent the entire time and now we're starting to I don't know what's going on in this game That crying's building tension. Like, it's got me a little, like, cautious now. Like, I don't know what to... Like, I'm just waiting for it. I'm just waiting for the jump scare. Sounds like someone's like being held against their will here. Is 
That's the other door we didn't go through. I don't know if I can get to it though. It's like kind of. Where should go? Puppet combo blankets. It probably is. I wonder what material they use for that. Oh, look at that. This doll. Can we go in this door? It's like a crib in here. So there's got to be like an old retired hospital or something, right? Can we open this? Okay, I think we just went in a circle here a little bit so we're going to go this way. This is a dead end. Shit. <laughs> what the hell? Why are we in here now? What the hell's going on? Like a lot of mattresses on the floor in here. And whatever, a jug of something. going on in this game jugs toilet rope bolt cutters mattresses Looks like a lot of people were living down here A lot of supplies, a lot of jugs. A lot of jugs around here. And check behind the doors, I'm just waiting for something. The audio top, uh, stopped. This door won't open. Oh, there's something in the way. It clipped through the door. Okay. Guess that's not the way to go. Okay. Maybe it was a... Could, could have been, I guess. Feels more like an abandoned hospital or something than a... Than a restaurant, though. Maybe we got, like, some shower area here. Multiple showers, some sinks. 
Why are we in here? No God, the game just keeps like moving us. Looks like it's getting dark outside. Yeah, if you were in this situation, like, you would know you're screwed already. Trying to open this door. A lot of times, kind of like... Yeah, there we go. Can you hear that creepy music playing? I don't think we can open that door. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do we enter the circle? I don't know if it's going to do anything, mate. I feel like we're getting closer. The tape is starting to mess up a bit. Couldn't tell if that door just creaked open or not. Another doll. Another creepy ass doll. This door open at all? A lot of the doors open. I don't think this one does though. It looks like an exit door. Like we can't escape. Is this game scary? Are you not scary right now? Or is it not scary right now? <laughs> like, this whole atmosphere, like, this is kind of nailing it for me. I wish the movement was a little bit more fluid, but it almost adds to the tension that you can't move so slow. It's like if you ever had, like, one of those nightmares where, like, you just can't... I don't know what that is. Can't move fast. It's kind of got that vibe to it. stopped. Shit. I don't think we're in the right area. We gotta go back. Because you're moving so slow, it's like, it's kind of like you're in a nightmare. Like, you, you know you won't be able to run away if something happens. Like, you're screwed. Um, the teleporting around definitely has like a dreamlike quality to it. Kind of freaked me out that the uh, the record stopped. Uh oh, what just happened? I can barely see. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it did. It totally looked like a silhouette of a person. The moon. Somebody's house. It's really dark out here, though. What is going on? Yeah, I mean, I really don't know what's happening right now. Like, this completely changed everything that was going on. I think that's glass. I don't think we can get through that because it's glass. Is there a door? There's a door right here. Maybe we can't open the door. 
Yeah, now I'm confused. We were inside like an, an ass, some sort of hospital. And now we're outside? Fuck. Now we're inside. Inside somebody's bedroom. Hey, a DeLorean, I think. Either that or could, that could be an old, like, a uh, Toyota... Uh, what's it called? Kind of looks more like a DeLorean, but... So that music. I feel like someone's watching some old TV shows. That's a frequency and a half right there. I don't know what's going on. This is a weird thing. The house is on fire. I turned it way down because I was pretty ear piercing right there. That was weird. Like, man, it was doing something really good. And then it just like ended strangely. I bet that was one of their like very, very early games. Very, very early, early games. Okay, we're going to go to stop. Okay, so we watched that. Um that had to be though, like seriously, like it it was it had it did a lot right in terms of I mentioned the slow movement, I actually felt worked for it. Um the teleporting to an extent worked because things kept getting worse and it was fine, but then when you ended up at the very end there at like somebody's house, it was just like you had no idea what was going on. Like, it looked like initially you were checking out some hospital or abandoned uh, medical facility. And I was like, okay, we'll go with this. But then to be at somebody's house without any explanation or, or reasoning for it was kind of odd. So, I don't know. It wasn't, uh... It wasn't horrible. It was definitely very simple. Why is there painting off the wall? Why is there a peephole? The fuck? Dude, this is kind of like uh, Silent Hill The Room. Except Norman Beatty. Because we're looking through someone's peephole into their shower. That's. Can we get out of this? That's creepy. A main character, why do you have a peephole into somebody else's apartment? You creep. Dodgeball, where are you? It's dinner time. Is that a fly? My god. What? Why is there all these flies? Jesus. 
Oh my god, look at all this. Where's our bug spray? Oh shit, don't start it. I wanted to open it. It's jammed. You are wearing a very well-tailored person suit. Fox Embers, PSN Heart, PSN Smirk. Thank you so much for the 11 months. Into the suit. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hope your day is going well. Get some hearts and chat for Fox Ember. And that resub. Thanks, you welcome on in. Fackle, welcome on in. I don't know where the... I don't know where the cat is, and I'm, like, freaked out that, like, we just microwaved our cat, potentially, because I don't see it, and now it's jammed. And maybe the cat was in there for some reason. And now we no longer have a cat. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but I think that might be where the game is going with this. Maybe. We can try to get that knife. There's no water. This dude's house is falling apart. Well, I guess we just got to watch another tape now. There's, like, nothing else to do at the moment. It's strange. It's stuck. We can't leave. This is the room. This is Silent Hill, the room. 712-8370. You write that down. 712-8370. Super, I'm locked in. Come on, dude. Call him back. That was a seven zero at the end, right? Seven one two eight three seven zero. Maybe I should go double check. <laughs> Lazy super. Oh, just to double check it. Oops! No! 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 I want to see the note. Seven one two eight three. I'm pretty sure that's seven zero. It doesn't look like a t a two or anything. Alright, well, let's go watch another tape. <laughs> 